In this tutorial, I will be going over how to create audio cue files in Unreal Engine 4, mainly for modding games such as Guilty Gear Strive. Audio cue files are the files that the game calls in order to actually play a song. It doesn't actually call the raw song, it calls these, which tells the game to use these songs in these specific ways. For example, and what I will be replacing today, is 401 Kara Select underscore Q. The main reason for this is because it is incredibly stupid how the character select actually works in terms of music. So the big thing is that what it does is it first plays 401 Kara Select or Carousel. Then it plays 401 Carousel Loop because Unreal Engine literally does not have loop points. They literally had to make two separate songs for this. I'm mad. So I'm going to be making this better and less mad with my own music. My own random music even. So of course, we're going to want to do the exact same thing we did in my last tutorial, which you should watch if you haven't yet. I'm not going to be going over the main process for cooking and all that because I already did in that video. Watch it. But first things we're going to want to do is, of course, create audio. BGM. BGM. There we go. <laughs> and from here, I'm going to make a folder called Kara select music. Due to how we're doing this, we can actually put our actual music files anywhere if you want to keep a little bit more organized in Unreal Engine. But the main thing is we're going to want to have to keep our cues in the same folder as audio BGM. Or wherever your cue is. Fun fact, you can do this for any song or any sound in the game, assuming it has a cue. For example, JPM. If we go into narration, JPN default, and we scroll down quite a ways, we have NA1501 BTL counter underscore Q. <laughs> this is the Q for the counter sound. You know, when the guy goes, uh, yeah, that. We can make that play random sounds, which I will be going over very quickly. But again, if any song in the game or any sound at all has a Q, we can make it play a random sound. We can make it do a bunch of other things with the Q. I haven't even got it to like all the cue stuff myself. All I'm going to be doing is just showing how to make these and how to do something simple like random songs. So it's up to y'all to discover. But first thing first, I need to actually get my music into Unreal Engine, which I already have prepped. I'm just going to drop them all right in here. So I will be using three songs, and it will randomly pick between all three. So back in the BGM folder, after importing our songs anywhere, wherever, Again, I just had them in Kara Select Music and their own file names. I'm going to right click, I'm going to Sounds, I'm going to go to Sound Cue. I'm going to name this exactly the same as the cue that I'm replacing, which in this case is 401 Kara Cell Cue. Now, if we double click on the cue, a new window will pop up. Expand it this way a little. In this window, this is effectively what we will be using. First things first, I'm going to drop my random node in here, which I can drag right from the right side. Hook it up. And there we go. Once I have my random nodes up, I'm going to simply go back into Unreal Engine. I'm going to drag all three of my songs into here. And I am going to do... Let's just drag them back in. Now... In our queue, there's still a couple things we need to do yet. First things first, I'm going to select all three of my songs. I'm just going to turn looping on. If you want your sound to loop. I haven't tested it on, like, actual sound effects or not. I don't want to test it on actual sound effects or not. I do not want May repeating. So I'm just going to do this normally. <laughs> uh, if we do not have anything selected, the main details menu will show up. Here we can set the volume multiplier, which I'm just going to make a good old... Um, I'll do one point two, and then there's two other things in here, which I'm just gonna kind of bam, 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 bam. class and attenuation. These two are important, so that way the queue can tell the game what kind of sounds these are. And in order to find out what queue uses what class or attenuation settings, we are going to open up F model. I already have it opened up, 
But again, last tutorial if you don't know what a model is. <laughs> uh, here in 401 Paris Luck Q, you can see that it is using BGM for the class and it is using at 10 invalid. In game sign classes, at 10 invalid. So all we're gonna do is back in Unreal Engine. I'm gonna go back to content. I'm going to make the folder called Sound Classes. And I'm going to go to right click Sounds, Sound Continuation. I'm just going to name it At 10 Invalid. And then I'm also going to make a class, Sound Class, BGM. And from there, we can set those in our Q window. So BGM and At 10 Invalid. And that is effectively it. <laughs> you can play around with some of the other settings for nodes here, such as delay or dot blur or root control, a bunch of other things. And if you really want to, you can also click on your random node. You can expand weights and you can make each song have its own chances of happening, you know, all that fun stuff. But yeah, that is effectively our key. So I'm going to save. So I'm gonna go file, save all file, click on for Windows once I have all that set up. That's how for you all an Unreal Pack for the next step, which is actually kind of important. In Unreal Pack, I've already created my pack folder, red, and I've already pasted my content folder from my clicked assets. In content, we're going to first delete to our archive if we haven't yet, and we're also going to delete sound classes. Since we set our queue to actually use assets in sound classes, we probably don't want to replace those since those are important to the game, unless we're actually editing them, but we did not, we just used them for the dummy effect. So by deleting them in Unreal Pack, we're effectively telling our assets to use stuff that's already in the game. <laughs> we can use the same trick if we want to have our if we want to have music that's already in the game in like the random pool if we're doing random music for cues. For example, if I wanted to have Saul's theme play during the main menu for some reason, and I didn't want to actually replace Saul's theme in Unreal Engine, I could paste like a some like an empty song in here with the same name as Saul's theme. I can put it into my queue, and then when I'm packing, I can delete that song, that empty weird dummy song, and it should theoretically use Saul's theme. All unedited by the game, and all saving on file size. So, uh, yeah, that was it. That was the entire step. Uh, pack with compression. Uh, there you go. Pack and game. Testing game. I'll see you there. Okay, so if I wasn't done, this should theoretically work. Very cool. Look at that. I even replaced the menu, menu music off screen. Look at that. And it works just fine. Now if we go into training mode. Hell yeah. Okay, it is very loud. Jesus Christ. Uh, back to the main menu, please. You know, back into training. It should play a different song. There we go. That's how we replace Q songs, and so we can finally avoid having to make the weird placement for the character select theme. <laughs> uh, yeah, and again, you can use this on literally any sound in the game. Hi, Pepsi Man, how's it going? Any song in the game or sound that uses a Q file. Again, counters, as I've talked about before. But, uh, yeah. Super quick and easy, just make a queue, add some things to it, bada bing bada boom. Uh, yeah. So, 